guys welcome back to my channel well, what I have for you today is a Christmas DIY we are going to make a tree wreath I think this is going to be so cute I saw this the other day and I thought I've never seen anything like that and if you haven't seen it you're going to love this so let me show you what you'll need in case you want to make this Christmas tree wreath and we're going to be using some items from the Dollar Tree okay so first you need they sell forms that you can buy but they're kind of expensive so I went to um, Hobby Lobby and I got this um, little plastic thing and it's 13 by 24 and it was two dollars and 19 cents right there it is and I'll put the size that it was in the description box so if you want a tree this big which I do so you'll need this size okay then you're going to need some burlap I got this at Hobby Lobby um, my Dollar Tree did not have any so I picked up this uh, burlap and it, it was $5.99 but I'm pretty sure it was 40% off okay then while I was in there I picked up some pipe cleaners green and then this really pretty uh, burlap collar $1.69 okay and then you're going to need some mesh and I'm just going to be using this from the Dollar Tree I think it's so pretty it'll look like our tree has snow on it okay so I have um, eight of these and I don't know that I'll need that many I hope that it will be enough I'm going to need a rotary cutter because I have to cut this deco mesh down you don't put it in exactly this big okay then you're going to need going to use this like stick ruler that we picked up from Lowe's okay and then I have a rotary cutter to cut my deco mesh now I'm not going to have to cut this down at all okay and then a mat to keep um, to cut my mesh with so let me go ahead get everything opened up and we'll get started with this adorable Christmas tree wreath for 2020 okay you'll also need a sharpie marker okay so first I'm what I'm going to do before I open up my mesh is I want to get the design of the tree on here so what you want to do is go in we're going to do the trunk first you're going to go in 23 squares from each side so I'm just going to count in 23 okay so that would be right here and that would be right here okay and then you have to go up 14 squares okay from the bottom so we're going to go up one two, so that's to there all right there I've got that I messed up on one side Okay, so what we're going to do is just take our scissors and cut this to give us our trunk. Okay, so this is going to be our trunk. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and just Put this right here so I'll know that this is my trunk. Right here. All right, now what we're going to do is go up to the top and go 33 squares into the center. So we're going to count in 33. Okay. Okay, so what I did, my original number didn't work out. So what you did is you count in to 45 and you make a mark. Then we're going to go at that mark at 45 where we've marked it and we're going to put this right here and we're going to bring it all the way down to the corner like that, okay? make sure you come all the way down to the corner okay and then we're just going to mark this like that we're going to do the same thing right here 
and I'll show you in just a minute. Except I got a little off, but that's okay. Okay. And that's what we get, okay? So now all you have to do is take your scissors and cut your tree out. Just like this. So just as soon as I get this cut out, I'll be back. Okay, now that we've got this much cut out, we're going to go right here and cut right over to our trunk. Like that, okay? This is so simple. Okay, now we have our very own little template to make our Christmas tree out of. And you still have this left over if you wanted to do something, okay? So, or you can buy the template, but they're pretty pricey, okay? So, now what I want to do is open up this deco mesh here from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to open it up. Okay, so now we have this. I think this is going to be so cute. We're going to cut it at two and a half inches wide. Okay, and I want to make it five inches long, okay? So I'm going to cut it up here until I get to five inches. Now if you bought burlap that was that size already, you'd be good to go and you wouldn't have to do anything. But I wanted to make it from the Dollar Tree, so that's what we're getting. Okay, then we're going to take our pipe cleaners, and you're going to cut these because you don't need them that long at all. Okay, then we're going to roll this just like this. We're going to put this around it twist it this is going to be so cute then we're going to take it stick it down inside and then we're going to twist it and I really probably didn't even need it three inches long okay and we're just going to keep building that like that so I'm going to go ahead, cut all mine off, and I'll be back and show you as I'm going. I'll be right back. Okay, this is what we're getting so far. Now, I would recommend, if you're going to do this and use Dollar Tree Mesh, you spray this green. It's going to be so cute. So I'll be back as soon as I get a little bit more done. Okay, you can see it's starting to take shape. I think it's going to be beautiful, and I'm still on my first roll of the deco mesh from the Dollar Tree. So I will keep going and just till I get all the way to the top and then we'll do the burlap down here. I'll be right back. Okay, here it is. I'm still on my last um, roll of the deco mesh from the Dollar Tree. I've almost used it all. And I think I'm definitely gonna have enough. I hope I have enough pipe cleaners, but this is adorable. So I'll keep going and I'll be back. Okay, this is what we're getting so far. I think this is adorable. I love it. So I've started now because I'm afraid I'm going to run out of pipe cleaners. I'm just going to do the ends and then as I have enough pipe cleaners, I'll work in the center. I may have to come up with another creative idea. <laughs> so I'll be back. Okay, this is what we're getting so far. I really do like it. Um, I'm down to one pipe cleaner left. <laughs> so I think I'm going, after I use it, I think I may try to glue these in. We will see. Let me go ahead and continue and I'll be back. Okay, I've started gluing them in there and you really can't tell that I glued them. 
um, I glued those two and when I get everything else going I don't think you'll be able to tell it so I'm going to continue gluing I would recommend if you do the pipe cleaners make sure you get two bunches of the pipe cleaners because each one of these had um, 50 in them and I cut them four inches long so you're going to need quite a few pipe cleaners. I'll be back. Okay, this is what we have. I think it is adorable. I really do love it. I have a few places that I need to fill in some more mesh, and I have more mesh left over. And the gluing worked well. It didn't bother it at all. But it's almost dinner time. <laughs> so I have to get this done, okay? So I'll fill in my sparse areas later, but now I'm taking my burlap um, ribbon here. It's five and a half inches by 15 feet. Got it at Hobby Lobby, okay? And I'm going to leave it um, two and a half inches wide. And I'm going to make it uh, five and a half inches long. Cut this. This is really not hard. It just, it goes pretty quickly. It's just, um, it just takes some time. Okay, so now I have this. I'm going to take these pipe cleaners, and I definitely should have enough of these. This is the cutest little Christmas tree. And same principle. You just roll this up. I'll start at this end just like this. Then we're going to take this and I'm going to cut these four inches or a little over for it depends. The wider they are the easier it is on your fingers and at this point my fingers need help. <laughs> All right, so we have it like that. Then I'm just going to start snugging this, and you could do the bottom first. I just decided to do it last. And put it right like that. And that's what we're getting. That will be our base. So I'll go ahead and get this finished, and then I'll be okay, back. Okay, let's take a look at this. Here is the Deco Mesh Christmas Tree Wreath. I love it. Now, I would suggest this Dollar Tree uh, mesh is gorgeous, but it just takes longer. If you use something like this burlap I did for the trunk, it doesn't take as long. Um, so it's up to you what you do. Like I said, this Dollar Tree mesh is gorgeous. But um, I hope you enjoyed this. I really had fun making it. It's very large too, as you can see. You could decorate this if you wanted to. I'm gonna leave it plain because I love how it looks. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you don't miss an upload. So I will see you tomorrow, Wednesday, for a wonderful Dollar Tree haul and a planner. Let me go get Maggie and let her say hi to you. Well, Maggie was in there reorganizing. Were you reorganizing? She was reorganizing her little... Um, bed she has in there. She pulled that house coat that used to be mine that she's now taken over and put it um, in her little bed. So I think she was getting ready for another nap. <laughs> she has a really rough life, let me tell you. But she has her little pumpkin uh, sweater on because it is cooler here today. Say hi. Say hey. Say hi, everybody. Say Maggie loves you. She gives you big kisses and hugs. So until next time, bye guys. Okay, I thought I'd jump on here really quickly and show you what this looks like. I love it, it is so pretty. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to put it and I'll show it to you up close. It just looks so cold and just looks like 
to me, a real tree. And I love that burlap for the base. So I wanted to let you see it. It is very tall, like I said, so it's kind of hard to get it in a shot. So until next time, bye guys.